Hey folks, Willie Keen here, bringing you another audio commentary for League of Legends. I know it's been a little while, but I recently moved my computer to a new place in my house, and I had some significant networking issues where I was. I needed to buy some more hardware to get everything working again. Uh, that took about a week, and then I uh, had a few technical issues doing the recordings. I was trying to do some live recordings, like while I play, and you know, the quality of the commentary was not so good. Uh, the quality of the play went down as well. Overall, I don't know. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be kind of uncommon for me to do it that way. So doing these post-game commentaries does take a little bit more time, but I feel like I can get a, kind of a higher commentary um, because I can talk the whole time. I don't have to focus on playing the actual game. So I'm playing Alistair again, which I've done before, and I'm gonna be laning with my good friend Demonac, who's playing Fiddlesticks, and he plays a mean Fiddlesticks. So I'm liking this combination. Uh, hopefully, I can uh, set up some nice gank swarm. Or not ganks exactly, but set up some nice kills for him. So we're going to come out and do some harass. Now I kind of venture forward kind of stupidly. I'm going to take some beats. And actually I'm going to take a few more after that. And a, and a couple more ill-advised uh, creep forwards here. Um, not terribly smart on my part. Now luckily Alistair is able to recover from that pretty easily once he gets his triumphant roar. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to venture forward here. But they've got, both of them have the ability to fling range attacks at me. And they've put that to pretty good use to give me a good harassment. I hit him with my uh, my pulverize here, but I'm definitely not in a good place to actually lay some beats. So I end up being pretty low health at the beginning of the game, which is unfortunate. So as I said, I'm playing here with Demonac, a good friend of mine, but I'm also playing with Pingless, who's playing Sivir in the middle. Uh, that's one of my viewers who uh, wanted to join me for a game, and I was more than happy to do that. Uh, he plays a pretty strong Sivir. Well, I find out. As, as the game goes on, he plays a pretty decent Sivir. I've never played with him before. Uh, we're not on Vent or anything like that, so it's not, you know, it's sort of a, a three-man pre-made, but we're not terribly coordinated, so um, other than the fact that we're going to have kind of half-decent players, um, it's not really a pre-made. So yeah, you can see they're keeping up the harass on me pretty good, and I've picked up my level of Triumphant Roar. And So I don't always grab Triumphant Roar at level 2, sometimes I wait until level 3 and I get my headbutt first instead, but I was low, I definitely need it. And in fact, I believe I'm going to pick up a second rank in Triumphant Roar as soon as I hit level 3, just because I'm still quite low and I've got a lot of health to recover from. Uh, there, I even take some more beats for no good reason. I think I maybe have gone in for a last hit, and it just, just didn't work out very well. Demonac gets a drain off on Kale. Uh, Pantheon comes out of the bushes to hit him. Now, I try to hit him with a Q. I get ignited and blink away. Um, just in case, you know, if when I hit the ignite, and I was already pretty low, if he'd had uh, any moves or cooldowns left, and I'm not sure if he did or not, or if he had an exhaust or something like that, they may have been able to kill me off there. I was pretty vulnerable. Uh, I'm not sure if using the, uh, the flash ended up being necessary, but I, I don't know. I'm not going to say that it was a poor move. I made plenty of poor moves this game, but that may, may not be one. So yeah, I am level 3 at this point. I did pick up my second rank in Triumphant Roar because I got a lot of health to make up for again. But at this point, now it's going to fill up really fast. Now I talked about my last Alistair video uh, about maybe pumping more and more points into Triumphant Roar. If nothing else, just to keep the, uh, the mana cost of my Pulverize and Headbutt quite low. Um, because the only thing you get out of, of leveling those up is more damage. You don't get you know, an improved stun. You don't get you know, more knockback or anything like that. Uh, I don't even know if it, could, it reduces the cooldown. I don't think it does. Um, however, I, I've been playing some more, and I've moved my runes around, so now I've got a lot more mana regen naturally, and of course I still get the mana manipulator. And at this point, I've got enough mana regen that I, uh, I feel pretty comfortable uh, leveling them up and still having enough mana to get all my spells off. I level them about evenly, so I get my triumphant roar to about rank 2, and then I level my Q and my W about even with each other. So Morgana in the bottom lane got herself a first blood, even though she's 1 on 2, very nice, followed by our Sivir getting a kill in the middle. So an excellent start to the game there, and I'm finally back up to full health, so despite all my ill-advised attempts at harassing or whatever the hell I was doing early on, I've recovered from that. I take a hit from the turret though, that's too bad, but... Again, not really the end of the world. I can recover pretty easily. I got lots of mana. And here, um, let's see what happens. Right, keeping up the pressure. We've got them kind of on the back foot now. Uh, Demonac was able to get them pretty low, so they're not able to harass quite as aggressively. Uh, he gets a drain off on Kale, but not a really long one. Pantheon comes in and interrupts. And I think we may be forced back here in a moment. Yeah, Demonac again takes a little bit more damage. They get another wave of minions. Yeah, we're going to have to back up. I think I try to get one more last hit. Or no. Now here, I'm going to split off here and try to confuse them maybe a little. Maybe I'm going to the middle. Maybe I'm just hiding. They're probably not stupid enough to take the bait. And yet, they push forward a little bit more than is healthy. Demonac's in position. I ghost, run forward, 
pulverize, get them both. I'm able to knock back Pantheon. He also has a fear off, and a drain from Demonac is just enough to finish them off. Perfect. Very good. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to get that kill on my own. You need a DPS to support you as Alistair, generally speaking, but there was a perfect setup right there. <laughs> and now we're going to be able to push this lane forward a little bit. Again, I'm not terribly worried about that harass, because I'll be able to top myself off just fine. In fact, I'm quite happy to be tanking these minions. I don't think they're attacking me anymore, but more, more, as much as I can do. Hopefully they can get a few shots in the tower, although it looks like the enemy minions arrived just in time to put a halt to that. Ah, your puny range attacks mean nothing to me. I am Alistair the Bull. Okay, and Pantheon has come back, so we're going to want to move away from the tower a little bit here. Looks like we got uh, another kill on Janna, I think. Good stuff, good stuff. So we pull back again. They're a little leery about moving forward is what it looks like. Yeah, you see Kalos just hanging back, and Pantheon's maybe just out of range. Well, Pantheon moves forward there, which is ill-advised. Now we push back to the turret, and... Actually, it looks like Pantheon may have gone here. Yeah, we should be calling out an MIA, I guess, right about... Oh, wow, how did he get over there so fast? I'm watching the replay of this video, and... I wasn't even sure that we, we were meant to have called an MIA. He must have departed the second we lost sight of him. That was very quick. It was unfortunate we weren't able to get a warning out there, but that was uh, that was pretty fast. Pantheon really must have booked it to the other lane. Well, that's why uh, got everyone's got to pay a little more attention. It's always good to check your mini map from time to time. One of the things you know, the better the players. And uh, whoa, Pantheon's coming back with his ultimate. I flash away, but that's stupid, because I'm going to have to come back here and defend uh, Demonac. I knock Kale away, and then I hit my Pulverize on Pantheon. Okay, get them both out of there. So as I was saying, you hear the good players, when they're running their commentary, you always hear them, uh, even in live play, watching the minimap, and they're, call they're noticing when people are gone and, and reacting accordingly. Uh, and here, in fact, if we check it out, it looks like jana has gone from the middle. Yep. We dodge that, we get a fear on Janna. I think I'm going to knock her into the wall and follow it up with a Q here. So we get a full duration drain on Janna. Takes her out and keeps Demonac alive despite the fact that Kale is beating on him the whole time. So yeah, barring the, uh, the potential lapse in, uh, in awareness of where people have gone, uh, the game's going pretty well. We've got a couple of kills in the bottom and the middle, and then we've got a couple of kills here. And now we've got a good set of minions, including the cannon minions. We're going to be able to get some beats down on this tower. Am I going to push in? Yeah, I decide to go right in. I'm only at half health, but what the hell is he going to do? Not a whole lot. I do knock him back there just for a little damage, I think. Oh, because I, I'm low. I knew that I was about to, to go back home uh, out of mana, low on health. So I figured ah, I may as well use my last drops of mana doing a headbutt. But it uh, looks like Warwick is down here getting ready to do a gank. Uh, so I cancel my teleport. And I move down just to see if I can help, but... Oh, I got enough mana for one Pulverize. I got my Ghost up as well. Warwick's still hanging out. Let's see, I charge forward. I miss with the Pulverize. That sucks. And I get the Tower Aggro, so I'm definitely forced back. Woo, I'm low. Yeah, okay. I have to, uh, to Blue Pill. And looks like that gank is not happening. Oh, well, can't win them all. Looks like there's a lot of pressure in the middle. There's at least three heroes there. So Sivir's going to try to defend, but she may be hard-pressed. I pick up my Boots of Swiftness. Yeah, she's pinging the middle. Uh, she's actually able to get Janna. Way to go, Pingless. Excellent stuff. Demonac looks like he may be heading to the middle to try to help. Oh, and he gets Tower Dive. Poor Pingless. But, um, uh, what's his name? I keep going to say Karthus. Cassidin. Cassidin gets taken down by the turret. Pingless gets credit for another kill. So, good Tower Dive and that you get the kill, but bad Tower Dive and that it killed you. Uh, we got a ping going off on Kale over here. Looks like Warwick's coming down the lane. Hopefully he's level 6 at this point and can ult. I think he is. So I'm going to go around here, not to give away my position either. And I believe, if I recall, uh, yeah, I'm going to headbutt him into the wall and then follow it up with a Q, uh, which doesn't knock him up. That's kind of a funny glitch, but it did look like it stunned him long enough. Uh, and uh, regardless, Warwick got off his, uh, his ultimate and then also exhausted, but clearly not quite needed. Guaranteed the kill. So that's good. Uh, and looks like Fiddlesticks has moved to the middle. He's defending the lane.